Missoula County Attorney Fred Van Valkenburg and Michael Cotter, U.S. Attorney for the District of Montana, have been at loggerheads ever since the DOJ announced its probe into sex assault cases involving local law enforcement and the University of Montana in 2012. While U.N. and Missoula Police reached a settlement calling for an overhaul of sex case procedures last May, Van Valkenburg never cooperated with the investigation, claiming the feds had no jurisdiction over his office. Last December, DOJ had offered a settlement, but Van Valkenburg convinced county commissioners to reject the offer. He complained a settlement similar to the one signed by Missoula and the university could cost the county an additional $350,000 in changes in new personnel. Instead, the county went on the offensive, filing a federal lawsuit to force DOJ to prove its claims of jurisdiction. The DOJ fired back, accusing Van Valkenburg's office of a variety of discriminatory actions. The county stuck with the suit, demanding the feds prove how they could override the county's claim to prosecutorial immunity. However, the court suit never came to a hearing, with the federal court granting two different extensions so both sides could work to resolve the dispute with the help of the Montana Attorney General's office. Monday afternoon, the AG's office announced a press conference involving Attorney General Tim Fox, Van Valkenburg, Cotter, and county commissioners, announcing negotiated agreements that resolve the ongoing dispute between the DOJ and the county. That press conference is set for Tuesday morning in Missoula. In Missoula, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.